Hey, what is going on you guys? Happy Friday, another weekly blog post as you can see here with the image of the War Drum Encore. Um, you know, so we expected this before, but finally we get the second running here of now the War Scourge. So really eager to see if there's gonna be an announcement of the saga as well. Uh, let's deep dive it. So confirmation here, War Scourge event. Again, it's gonna be coming up here in a few days, uh, less than a week here, Red Hulk coming for the second time, January 12th. So that's absolutely huge. Just another opportunity to get a very powerful uh, character here, uh, especially with him being um, one of the legendary horsemen needed for Apocalypse. Uh, we got the coordinated assault. That's going to be starting very shortly here tomorrow, actually, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, and then there's another one actually um, closer to the middle uh, and the end of the month. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. So this is the second milestone of the month for the featured month. So this is the rise of the regiment. And we saw this kind of a sneak peek with the infographic that was released earlier this week, um, where we got determination that likely related to Red Hulk. But you can see starting on January 11th, that's going to be the event here, uh, allowing us the opportunity to actually get these Gamma Bomb Orb, um, ultimately giving us fragments here of Gamma characters, Heralds as Guardians, Wave 1 Avengers, and Ravager. Uh, it's also going to be running in tandem with this war zone milestone so this is a seven day milestone uh really you know, getting points by earning those fragments relating to the gamma bomb orb so um it's also going to be featuring that item of the of the milestone that's going to be specifically adding to the uh the month-long event being the battle boots in addition to the justice medals and again all this is important because uh this is going to add ultimately to the unlock of us agent uh we also have the web milestone here of hostile forces so this is going to be uh blitzing now we got a brief momentary break from blitzing but this is going to be blitzing to rack up points and then additionally it's going to give us the additional gamma bomb orb fragments which adds to the other ongoing um milestones happening we got the war shadows underworld uh quick rumble blitz here that's upcoming here in about a week so just keep an eye out for that. Obviously, when you have uh, these characters at higher stars, it's going to be a much easier time. But generally, I don't have a hard time hitting these. Um, you know, just have to rotate a couple of times, add a couple more rotations. But pretty straightforward. And again, you always want to hit that that bottom milestone gain and maximize on those justice medals. That said, character availability. So it's been a little bit of some time since we finally got something added. But Dazzler is going into the war store for 1375 war credits. Uh, and no data has been confirmed just yet, but we'll definitely be keeping an eye out for that. Uh, additionally, because it's the Free Claim Friday, we get first now finally a, some uh, you know sample of the Captain Carter shard. So five shards, if you guys check, make sure you go online and claim that in the web store. Uh, always uh, nice to get these free opportunities, right? In addition, also some Justice uh, medals being added as part of that Super Patriot uh, January month long event. And then otherwise, just to wrap things up here, weekly event. Uh, we got the Shield Maiden here featuring Sif. Uh, and then Adam Warlock's legendary event, as well as um, Nowhere Heist, which always gives us an opportunity uh, for any kind of the dark promotion credits, Elite 7 and Gold. So nothing else. Um, to be honest, I'm a little surprised they haven't uh, discussed anything on Red Hulk Saga. So, I mean, the Scourge is coming back, which means the War Saga will likely follow um, shortly afterwards. It could be a couple of weeks. It could be a month. But, I mean, generally, it's close, pretty cl tied closely to the, to the, the, the Scourge event whenever it does happen for the second time. So definitely uh, good food for thought there for sure. But overall, uh, a pretty quick update here, guys. Nothing too crazy going on here. But, I mean, this is to be expected. Uh, it'll be very interesting then following this if, if you know, Rogue's Famine Scourge is coming back for a final time. And then as well, uh, we'll likely see some Archangel Death Scourge reruns afterwards too. So uh, that's all in due time, of course. But I'm sure they're smoothing out the wrinkles in terms of what's going to be announced for us in terms of detail for Apocalypse because... You know, we still have a couple of months here before the anniversary. And in the timeline I made, um, you know, and kind of it, it, it's stipulated in terms of what we're expecting for the remainder of the year. There's still, you know, quite a few little plots that we have to fill in. Right. You know, for instance, you know, which characters are also going to be combinating with Spider Weaver as part of that unlock in the Apocalypse Saga. Um, you know, it's definitely not a couple characters. There's definitely definitely they noted it was several. So that can generally range from three three characters or more um so it'll be interesting to see how that's going to get uh smoothed out because this actually ran uh in addition to like the spider weaver shards um in the strike pass that recently went out this week right like we got this uh mis we got to capitalize on this mistake that you know there was a bug and everyone was able to gain access to a spider weaver four thousand shards of her um if you're over level 70 um and, and strike pass level three so this is ultimately going to change how they're going to design it i am sure uh, just because she is an apocalypse required character 
So that means um, that ultimately can play a factor into what they're deciding behind the scenes, especially with that being a very notable 4,000 character shard. So hopefully you guys were able to capitalize on it as well. It was a it was a nice freebie gift shortly after in the new year. Um, but yeah, happy New Year's, guys. Um, thank you as always. Do appreciate you checking out my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.